Generative AI has been the talk of many people lately. We can easily create amazing images or even videos. But how well can AI create 3D models? Let's find out. Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here again. I have previously covered Luma AI's text-to-3D service called Genie in my videos. And even though it has now evolved into the new version and you no longer need to prompt 3D models via Discord, I would also like to see what other 3D AI tools there are and how they are implemented in the service called Meshi AI. Meshi AI is, in my opinion, the most versatile AI service that is currently able to produce 3D models very creatively with four different AI methods. And even though Meshi AI is also the sponsor of this video, I still want to present my own views of its functions and how its innovation follows the trends of generative AI and creates new 3D production methods. So let's type meshi.ai into the browser and start going through its AI features. When we have managed to log in to the service, the first thing we noticed on the left is the text to 3D tool. Meshi AI offers a very intuitive editor where you can enter your own prompt in these fields here on the left. You can write your description in the same style as in all familiar AI application, and you can also list things you don't want to see in your 3D model. But if you feel that you are not very good at writing a prompt that is descriptive enough, as the latest feature, you can also give Messy AI an image as a file reference and it will translate the image content into a prompt. This feature is quite new to me and it is very fascinating to watch how the AI interprets the content of the image and writes the things that appears in it into a text. After the prompt phase there are a few art style settings here that you can choose from realistic to cartoonish. And then you just press the generate button. Meshi AI quickly calculates four examples for you. These are very simple versions that just show the 3D shape of the object. And based on which you can either fix your prompt and calculate more versions, or if you found something that looks promising, you can press the refine button for it. Refine phase takes more time, but only at this point that generative AI gets to do its tricks. After a while you will have an interesting 3D model in front of you, where the textures have been finished to look better, and the aspects you prompted is better focused. In the 3D view, it is possible to adjust the visibility of the 3D mesh structure. You can see how HDR lighting affects your model and how model looks without textures. When you examine the wireframe structure of your model, you will notice that the basic settings of the mesh structure consist of a complex polygons. Perhaps the coolest new feature in Messi AI is that you can now convert and optimize the topography of the model to better one so that the mesh structure can be changed from triangles to quad polygons, which is much easier to further processing in other 3D programs. However, this is not a unique feature that can only be found in Meshi AI. You can also find the retopology function in Luma AI's Genie service. But in Genie you can see the final result only after you have downloaded the 3D file to your computer and open it in a separate 3D program. Meshi AI can show the structure of quad polygons right away and its info panel also tells you the number of vertices and faces. And with this slider in here, 
it is much easier for you to optimize the amount of polygons of a 3D object directly in Meshi AI. But speaking of unique features, Meshi now includes a new and very powerful way to manipulate and edit textures with AI. It is called AI Texture Editing Tool. Often when you are creating, for example, a human figure, you notice that in the first refined creations, some of the textures are a little bit over, or you may see parts of face areas as a double. Now you can try to fix these texture errors with this editing tool. It works a bit like the Generative Fill feature in the new Photoshop. First, you select the area in the image that you want to correct, and then you write a prompt as to what the area should be changed to. The AI tool calculates the changes in a moment and again offers you a few options. When you find a suitable one, you can merge the change into 3D model. In this way, you can go through the entire 3D model and patch all the areas that you don't like in the generated model. The Texture AI tool modifies Messi real efficiently and in the future, when this feature improves a bit more, it will make this AI generator a really useful and clever tool in your 3D toolbox. Texture AI is currently a pro feature, but you are able to use it for a 7-day trial period for free. When you have successfully created a 3D model from the text, the 3D model can be downloaded in several different formats. And what is nice is that since I'm the Blender user, the model can also be downloaded directly as a native Blender file. So, let's take a look at the AI texturing mode next. This doesn't mean a single material textures that you may have already seen in other AI programs. Messy AI texturing is more diverse. If you already have an existing 3D model that you would like to texture, this function allows an AI to create a new look for your model. However, this function will not resolve the UV mapping for you. Your 3D model must have pre-planned UV coordinates for this function to work. But even so, this feature can make some pretty interesting new textures and make your 3D model look completely new. The third tool is Image to 3D. This function is very interesting, even though it is only in an early alpha version and is not yet able to produce very usable 3D models. The idea is that it would be able to process a 3D model from a single image file. For example, when I uploaded this picture of this woman in a yoga position, and even though the starting point was only one picture from front, it was amazing to notice that the AI was able to shape the back of the character and estimate that the character might have hair in a bun behind the head. Although the texturing on the back side still doesn't work very well, the results are at least something in the right direction. And it will be fascinating to see where this function will grow to when it reaches its full potential. The single image to 3D function seems to be a hot topic in AI productions at the moment, and this will definitely be a feature that develops at the fast pace, so it is one of the interesting areas that should be followed in the development of AI. But let's go ahead and look at the last feature of Messy AI, which is called Text to Voxel. If you are excited about Minecraft and Lego style graphics, this function is for you. With it, you can generate voxel based 3D models. It works the same as the previous text to 3D method, but the end results are a three dimensional pixel graphics which you get with different voxel density. I found that these voxel blocks only become particularly interesting if you download and transfer them for further processing in a special program called Magical Voxel. 
In Messi, you have the option to export the file separately in special Vox format. And then you can open this file in the Magical Voxel application. A completely separate video would be acquired to show what this program is made from. But it should be mentioned that in Magical Voxel you are able to modify the style of the Vox file so that you can change the blocks look like molded low poly shapes, spears and cylinders or even Lego bricks. This gives a whole new dimension and purpose to your Voxel models. And here it was. Here was a full walkthrough of Messy AI's features. As I stated at the beginning, this is a very versatile 3D AI service. Its main flagship feature is the text to 3D, and it is undeniably very good compared to other popular 3D generative AI services online. Although I'm not a big fan of credit-based services, Messy AI charges credits for almost all the steps you take when you're generating 3D models. But it also hands them out quite generously. As a new user, you'll get a few hundred credits when you log in first time. And by answering the service and sharing your created models in the public gallery, you can earn more credits. But if you get excited about this service and see that with this, you can quickly create a significant amount of 3D models and assets for example, for your game project, I recommend checking out the pricing options. The Pro membership may well be a worth it. What do you think? Have you already tried to generating 3D models using a generative AI? You can leave your comments below. I would like to thank Messy AI for sponsoring this video. And if you like this, hit the like button and follow my channel. I will continue to make these crazy looking 3D objects. Thanks for watching.